he is on his way if there's such a time right now a dangerous time a time to be ready for the coming of the lord for the imminent coming of the lord and the rapture of the church is right now and i'm going to cover why just recently i saw these robots ai artificial intelligence i'm going to list some of the signs that we're in right now this is a serious time you guys this is scary you got to wake up you got to wake up you got to get out of your sin get into the kingdom of god get ready for the return of jesus christ he is right at the doors we are at the brink of the rapture of the church we are the at the brink of the tribulation we are just at the brink of it so let me go down this list i'm watching these robots these robots can move their eyes their lips their bodies everything they have their thoughts and they can they're duplicating they're replicating within themselves their genetic structure this is crazy what they're doing right now in science in technology so let me break this down satan cannot procreate satan wants to be like god he wants to be god himself since satan cannot procreate he's using ai or artificial intelligence god showed me this AI or artificial intelligence to create robots or these beings that can replicate themselves and, pro and, and try to have human intelligence where they can connect with, with human genetics, DNA structures. This is crazy. He is trying to duplicate man, but he can't. He can't procreate. Satan cannot do that. So he's using these computers to create man, machines. This is crazy because he is not the creator, he is the counterfeiter. So he's trying to create man through AI or artificial intelligence to have the capabilities of a human so that he can control the world, that he can mock God. Okay, I'm gonna go down the list. This is going on right now. Look at the scientific intelligence right now. This is crazy what's happening all around the world. They're getting ready to release these robots, okay? They're already using it for the military. UFOs, aliens, Pentagon released information as a legitimate source for most of mankind the military that people respect to say that ufos and aliens are real this is setting the stage for the rapture of the church and the antichrist to come on scene and for the christians to disappear because when the christians disappear they're going to blame it on alien abduction okay they have our government has validated this to the world. The world cannot see because the world is blind. They cannot see the things of God. They, they can only see the natural things. They can't see the spiritual things. It's foolishness to them. They can't understand that aliens and UFOs are demonic beings. These are demonic visions. These are not real. These are demonic. They come in the form of aliens, which are demons. They get demonic visions in the sky, just like it's gonna happen during the tribulation, okay? There's gonna be wicked signs and wicked wonders. This is happening right now. God is giving a glimpse of this into what's coming here. I believe the Antichrist is alive and well right now. You guys listening? I believe the Antichrist is alive and well right now. I believe he's living. I believe that we are the terminal generation that's going to see the rapture of the church and the second coming of Christ. I believe that we are the terminal fig tree generation as described in the Bible, that when you see the fig tree put forth its leaves, know that this generation will not pass away until 
all these things are fulfilled. What are all these things? Everything in prophetic, what prophetically what Jesus said. We have rumors of wars, wars and rumors of wars. We've got we've got Iran with the capability of building nuclear weapons. This is not a joke. Israel is is under threat with Iran right now. This is you guys, do you understand that everything is happening in the Middle East actually is six, is the center, the hub of all prophecy. Iran is threatening Israel. We've got Russia, China, North Korea. They're getting ready. They are they are getting ready to strike us. I believe that the United States is going to get hit. I have no doubt about this. We're going to get hit at some point. It's not if, it's when. It's not if we're going to get hit with a nuclear bomb, it's when. Remember, the United States is not in prophecy. We are no longer the superpower. This has to, there has to be a stage being set right now for a superpower that we know is Europe, okay? The 10 nation Europe that's gonna rise and the little horn, which is the Antichrist, is gonna rise out of the superpower of the 10 nation Europe. We are so close. Do you see what's happening in Europe right now? Do you see the unrest and the protests right now that are going on? Watch the news. Do you see the chips? They're putting chips in people's hands to show that they got They're putting chips. I think it's Amsterdam or somewhere. They're putting chips in people's hands to validate that they got the V. They got unrest all over Europe right now. People are on lockdown. They can't leave their homes. They can't even have a job. They can't even go to the store because they're on lockdown because they did not get the, the thing. This is only a matter of time that's coming to the United States. Mark my words. The bill passed recently this weekend as of January 4th, even though they're gonna to try to take it to the Supreme Court, we know prophetically what's gonna happen. Lord, may you open the eyes of your people. The bill passes of January 4th, 84 million people are gonna be affected right now that did not get. 84 million people are at risk of losing their jobs without getting it in order to work at their company or corporation. Guess what's gonna happen? Do you think that all these people are gonna get it? Absolutely not. Why do you think the protests are going on in Europe? Because this is the same thing is gonna happen in the United States. January 4th, the law is going to into effect. So we've got civil unrest, we've got protests. This is all about control. We know this, this is a precursor to the mark of the beast. You're evil if you don't get it. You're the enemy if you don't get it. Kill them if you don't get it. You're the troublemaker if you don't get it. This is social conditioning, okay? Now we're gonna have collapse. We are having, we right now are having a collapse of the economy. It's like a Trojan horse that has come into the United States. This Trojan horse has got the enemy in the United States. Listen, I believe the enemy is already into our borders. I believe that the enemy is already here in the United States, setting up camp for a while, waiting on orders from our enemy of the United States. Are you listening to me? We have people that are ready with orders from their commander waiting within the United States to take out orders to attack us from within terrorism and outside terrorism this listen you guys know i sing for the government you guys know i know stuff i'm not going to tell you what or who but i'm telling you this is part of the end time prophecy that the bible is talking about the bible talks about sudden destruction when they say peace and safety then sudden destruction will come upon them that's the signing of the seven-year peace treaty okay this 
Oh. Collapse of the economy. The dollar is dropping. The stock, the stock market is going to crash. We don't have enough cars in the parking lots. We don't have enough used cars. We don't have enough new cars being made. We don't have enough jobs available, even though they say it, the jobs available are only where you are exposing yourself to getting the you know what and getting sick and people are afraid. They don't want to go in the restaurants. They don't want to go in fast food. They don't want to go in the retail shops. Those are the kind of jobs. They're not telling you the truth. They're not telling you the truth. Okay. The media is controlled by Satan. Satan controls our media. He is called the prince of the power of the air, the ruler of this world. The God that works, he is the God of this world, the little God who works in the children of disobedience. He has blinded, the Bible says, blinded the minds of the unbelievers that they cannot see or hear. They cannot receive the gospel. What I'm saying to you is what Noah was telling people in his time. The flood is coming. Judgment is coming to America. Judgment is coming to the United States. The God has had enough. He, this is, he has allowed the Trojan horse to come into the United States. They're just waiting on their orders to open it up to attack. That they got human. Listen, not only the robots, but they got drone carrying the missiles. I'm watching last night these drones this is our worst enemy right now is the drones the drones are hard to detect that carry missile weapons that the military the military has created anti drones to kill the ant or destroy the, the other drones carrying the, the missiles these drones are going in getting their targets and pulling out without being detected so we've got drones now that is our biggest threat to safety right now for the military and for the nation. Hear me now. This is real stuff. Look it up. This is not stuff they're talking about. We've got homosexuality. As in the days of Lot, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking. I mean, in Lot's day, in Lot's time, the angels of God came delivered Lot, his wife, and his two daughters. The son-in-laws, the husbands of Lot's daughters were making fun of the judgment coming. They were laughing at it. They were laughing at the angels of God. And they got left behind because there are scoffers, mockers in the end times like there is today. Some of you guys right now are scoffing and mocking me. They were scoffing and laughing at the, the watchmen on the wall that were warning people judgment is coming and they got destroyed in the judgment with fire and brimstone, which is the Dead Sea in the Middle East as a reminder that there is nothing living in the Dead Sea. It is, it is salt, pure salt until the millennium. Lot's wife turned around into a pillar of salt. Hello, she turned back and looked. At the judgment, she was warned, don't look back, and she did. We are now living in the day where same-sex marriage is normal. It is an abomination to God. It is normal. It is, it is law that it's normal to be two same sexes to be married, two same sexes to have insurance, two same sexes to do, to, uh, to adopt babies. This is an abomination. This is as in the days of Lot, so shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. Jesus is coming. Sound the alarm. Repent right now. Repent. Jesus is coming. If he doesn't destroy the United States and bring judgment on the world, he's going to have to repent for destroying Sodom and Gomorrah. Next. We got the great falling away from the faith. What is happening right now? People are ones who thought sin was sin. Christians don't think it's sin anymore. They don't think being gay is sin. They don't think abortion is sin. They don't think that cussing is sin. They don't think living together is sin. They, they don't think there's 
they don't believe sin is sin anymore. They they think that once saved, always saved, you can do whatever you want. And God still loves you and you're still going to heaven. They don't believe in a holy and righteous God. No longer do people believe in sound biblical doctrine. They don't believe in keeping the commandments. They say, well, you're saved by grace, not by works. Do whatever you want. God understands. It's, it's cool. God's cool with you. You're cool with God. I am a friend of God. We are living in the last days. The great falling away from the faith as described in 2 Thessalonians. Jesus said before the son of perdition, which is the Antichrist is revealed, there'll be a great falling away from the faith. We are living in a time where you see Christian artists, you know who I'm talking about. One of the, our most popular Christian artists can't say that being gay is a sin and is a friend of homosexuals. We've got pastors that are pastors and leaders of large churches, Mr. Smiley, that documented on Larry King Live that can't say that being gay is a sin. In fact, he says, we're not to judge. And he would go, and him and his wife would go to a gay wedding. And millions of people, even some of y'all, are following Mr. Smiley. These are false teachers, false prophets, as predicted in the end times. Jesus said, do not follow them. He said, false Christ and false prophets will arise, showing great signs and wonders, if possible, even to deceive the very elect of God. This is a warning. Wake up, thou that sleepest. Arise from the dead and Christ will give you life. Arise from the dead. You are spiritually dead. You cannot see what's happening. The next thing, drugs. Everything's being legalized. Marijuana is legalized. They're trying, listen, they got heroin legalized in some countries. They got prostitution legalized. Just because it's legal does not mean it's right. It is, it is a sin. It is sickness. It is destroying people's lives. And Satan, I'm going to talk about the devil in a minute. Because you, if you want to talk about good things, just listen to Mr. Smiley. Positive things, listen to Mr. Smiley. Listen to positive teachers because they're 95% of them. If you want to hear the truth and a balance of God's love and his judgment, listen to me, okay? And others that are out there talking about it. So, drugs, pharmacia, witchcraft, drunkenness is an all-time high. Drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. They ain't going. If you're drinking, getting drunk at home, you ain't going. Alcoholism is not a disease, it's a sin. If you're shooting up, if you're shooting up, Pharmakia, you got the spirit of witchcraft in you with alcohol, with drugs, you're smoking pot. You got the spirit of pharmakia in you, witchcraft, sorcery. You got sorcery. God talks about that sorcery will increase in the end times. Yeah, bam, sorcery. Everything. Sorcery is anything that changes your judgment or is out to kill you, seriously, okay? We know that Satan's agenda, darn if you do and darn if you don't. You're going to get the thing or you're going to get the V? What are you going to get? Because it's all out to kill you. Listen to me. It's all out to kill you. Satan, Satan is control. He's the, it's not man. Satan uses humans to bring about his purposes. In that lab, when the thing was created, the V, that was Satan's people with his mind filled with demons creating the thing to destroy and kill humans around the world. All you guys that think it's a hoax, something's wrong here. You're deceived by Satan himself. He's deceiving you too, okay? So the thing right here, the thing right here, that's to kill you too. It's all to kill you. Graphene oxide, 99%. It's all to kill you. I'm just telling you. 
I'm not judging you for taking it. I'm just telling you the agenda is to kill humans. That's all the devil wants. We got to take the natural part out of it. This is all what the devil wants. The next thing, without natural affection, people are at an all time high with anger, bitterness, rage, bitterness, can't love somebody, can't love your neighbor, can't love people because you're so angry. You're, you're full of rage. The Bible says the law, because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. That means there's going to be more crime. Right now, there's so much crime. Last year, 30% increase in murders. This year, even more. Crime, because people are losing their jobs. They're losing their homes. They're losing their food. They don't have any money. They're hungry. They're scared. They're angry. They're angry at the government. They're angry at other people. They're angry at their families. They're angry at their loved ones. Crazy, crazy stuff. When they say they blacked out, they don't know what made them do it. It's the demons. The demons are at an all time high infesting people and the church does not know how to cast them out. You go to church every Sunday, put yourself at risk on top of it. You don't get the true gospel message except for maybe what I post from Pastor Loren Livingston and some other places that will tell you the truth, okay? That we got mamsy pamsy preachers who are people pleasing, ear tickling, that don't want to offend anyone. And so you got your brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles and mothers and fathers and children dying and going to hell daily. You see the news? You see, you see social media, how many people are dead every day? Because they're in the in the ICU because they got the V, they got the C, they got they got the, the the thing created in the lab and they're dying and people are like oh it doesn't exist because they got something wrong here okay they're deceived by satan hello hello there this is on a multitude of scales i didn't just hit one we are without natural affection for one another unforgiveness unrepentant hard-hearted stiff-necked uncircumcised humans that are unwilling to get on your knees and repent before a holy God to say, God, we have sinned against you and heaven. We have violated all of your commandments. Do you understand? The Bible says we don't rush. Our fight is not against flesh and blood, but he says rulers of darkness in high places. I want to point out to you that Satan's kingdom is highly organized. Okay? We're at the end times. One of the, listen, there's a chief angel. He is the chief. He is the chief. He controls everybody else. Satan rebelled against God and let one third, one third of God's angels into rebellion. One third. He took the system with, with them and he turned them against God and against humans. Okay, so you, okay, the credit goes to God for everything. But what I'm trying to tell you, because a lot of you guys don't want to hear about the devil because you don't want to believe he's real. The Bible says against the rulers, the rulers, that the rulership, that means there's a certain level of spiritual authority in Satan's kingdom. There are sub rulers with smaller areas of authority. So you got a major ruler, you got sub rulers, just like in the army and the natural army. Okay. Against world dominators of this present darkness. Dominators is a satanic word. Dominate. They, you know, God never dominates. He, he's not a control freak. Okay. Where you encounter domination, full control, you have satanic global agenda. Ecumenism is another one. Let's, you know who's behind ecumenism? The Catholic Church, the Pope. He wants to unite all religions into one because he believes that we all have one God that we serve and we all have, we can all come together for a common belief. Ecumenism is the drive behind the one world religion one world religion, the mark of the beast. Hello. 
the Ro rebuilding of the Roman Empire, the Roman Catholicism. You should have nothing to do with a wicked system that are not only that that believes that Jesus is the Immaculate Conception, but Mary. So this Jesus that came out of this false Mary is a false Jesus and believes in purgatory and praying to the dead in a holding place and giving money and to, to get you out of this purgatory that prays to the dead people, which is necromancy, which is forbidden in the Bible. I can go on and on and on and on. Repent. It is idolatry for the kingdom of God is at hand. Most people don't understand that Lucifer or, or Satan was Lucifer. He comes as an angel of light. Okay. Jesus is called the morning star, but Satan comes as an angel of light to deceive you, to deceive the whole world. The whole world is getting deceived and only a remnant are going to be saved. Do you understand? So the Bible says that Satan's ambition was to exalt himself in equality with God. He was so wise and beautiful. He said to himself, I could be like God. That's what he wanted. He wanted to be like God. Okay. The Bible says in the Old Testament that you were the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God in Ezekiel 28. So he had timbrels built into him. He had musical instruments. That's why in the end times, another mark of it is music. Music is being used as a satanic agenda right now to get into your spirit because demons can enter into your soul, your mind through music. He is called the prince of the power of the air. He was a, he had, he had pipes. Satan had pipes and timbrels. Lucifer did built into his body. He had sardius, topaz, diamond, barrel, onyx, jasper, turquoise, emerald, that was, and gold, that was the covering of his body. That's why in this new apostolic reformation movement, the NAR, they got all of these manifestations of all these fake gems and fake gold dust and fake all this stuff because this is to deceive us completely, all right? So when I post this on YouTube, the V thing is gonna be removed because they're gonna ban me again. He was the cherub. He was the one that guarded the glory of God. He was the cherub. He walked on the mountain of God. He experienced God's presence. That's why you cannot test something as being biblical by experience. Experience is deceptive. You got to test it with the word of God. Okay. You, we, we are at the end. You guys, we got to repent of our pride because Paul himself, he wouldn't even talk about what he saw in heaven. It was unlawful for, for him to see it. And all you guys who are watching, Je Jesse Duplantis and Kenneth Copeland and, and, and Kenneth Hagen and all these people that have had all these gold dust, laughing hyenas, hysterically. Listen, we're at the end. Satan is after the church. He's after you and me to deceive us. I used to follow all those people. I'm not talking about them personally, but they're being used by Satan with false lying, lying wonders, lying dreams, lying visions to turn you after other gods. They're in the church coming in Jesus name in the pulpit. All of these people that claim that we're little gods walking around. Yep. I'll keep on talking. I don't care. You can hate me. I don't care. I'm trying to save your life. I'm trying to save your soul from judgment. I'm trying to save you from missing out on the rapture of the church. I'm trying to save you from the Kundalini Jezebel spirit. Okay. That's what I'm trying to do. So remember we're at the end. I'm done now. We're at the end. I already went through it. Look from the beginning, AI, artificial intelligence. It's Satan's. I'm going to summarize it. Satan wants to procreate human beings. He cannot. He cannot. He wants to make man after his own image and after his own likeness. That's why he's got AI robots being formed right now that are mutating their genes. This is crazy what you see happening. He is giving false visions of UFOs and aliens to deceive people 
even from the Pentagon, from the military. This is the natural. People can't see the spiritual behind it, that the Christians are going to disappear. I believe, according to Yasminology, that we are going to disappear in the rapture and they're going to tell us that we were taken up by aliens another thing wars and rumors of wars iran is getting they're threatening israel okay israel is going to take them out but they're threatening them okay god's chosen people the apple of god's eye all right russia china north korea we're get, I believe, like I said, we're going to get hit by nuclear weapons. We, United States is just a sitting time bomb. It's not if, it's when. It's when. That's why you, you guys need to prepare because we don't know what we got to go through before the trumpet sounds. You guys better prepare for a grid down situation. When they took our pipeline down and we had to pay millions of ransom to get our pipeline back up in Alaska, you and, and our infrastructure is so weak right now, and, and they can break into our infrastructure and shut down our electricity, our gas and everything. And you think that you're going to depend on the government to save your life? You better not. You better get yourself some water. You better get yourself a good food supply and a good fire supply to keep yourself hot in the cold states. If you're in a warm state, perfect. But you, you can live without food for about 30 days, but you can't live without water for more than three days. You better have a life straw. You better have something prepared and you better see that we are sitting ducks. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, because in Ezekiel, guess what? It talks about men standing there and their eye sockets, their eyes melting in their sockets and their skins melting on their flesh. One third or a quarter of humanity is going to be killed by a plague. You think we got a plague now and it's mutating? Just wait. You ain't seen nothing yet. God is warning us that he's coming. The tornadoes that just happened, all that destruction that just happened it, with, with uh, the South and the Midwest, and you saw historic, historically, no tornado has been that strong to travel 200 miles to, in that pathway to kill that many people and lead that much destruction. Birth pains, earthquakes are happening at an at, at unprecedented, unprecedented amount with more increase. The birth pains are coming. The Bible says as a woman is getting ready to birth a child, the birth pains come. So we know that the birth pains are here because Jesus is trying to tell us, repent, he's coming, he's coming. And guess what? Most of you are gonna get left behind because you're seeker friendly, you're lukewarm, you're not on fire for God, you have compromised with the world, you are sinning with the world, you are living like the world and calling yourself a Christian or you are completely backslidden, you no longer believe that the Bible is true and God is real. The great falling away is happening. They got drones that are our worst enemies right now in the military that can shoot missiles. Drones. And the military right now is creating drones to go anti-drone to those missiles. Listen, this is real stuff. They're coming in undetected. Their, their drones are hard to detect, the missile drones. Collapse of economy is coming. We know that the mortgage moratorium is over. Now this is a collapse coming, okay? People are getting evicted. People are losing their homes. People are losing their jobs because January 4th, there's not gonna be, there's gonna be a mandatory bam or you lose your job. 100 people or less, you lose your job. They're gonna go to the Supreme Court, but we know biblically, the Bible is true, let, it, God, let God be true and every man a liar. I don't care what y'all say. I don't, I don't even care what I say. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to nobody, listen to the Bible. The Bible says we are going in for collapse. We are going to lose our superpower in the United States. The European Union will be the superpower, the rebuilding the 10 toes of Daniel the rebuilding of the Roman Empire, the little horn, which is the Antichrist, is gonna come out of that 
rebuilding of the European nations, the 10 nation Europe, the little horn, which is the Antichrist, will come out of that. And I believe that, that Catholicism, the Pope, the Roman, the Catholic, Roman Catholic Church is going to be right behind the Antichrist. The one world religion, the ecumenism. Read, get my first book, Beautiful Deception, it's in there. Drugs, pharmacia, witchcraft, sorcery, alcohol, uh, uh, heroin, ecstasy, every, name it. Opiate addictions, painkillers, drugs, pharmacia will increase in the end times without natural affection, the great falling away from the face, homosexuality, same-sex marriage, abortion. I'm trying to help you guys. Jesus is coming. If there's any time to repent, it's right now. It's right now. You are a friend of the world and an enemy of God, most of you. you a lot of you guys are, are dating unbelievers, sleeping with them. A lot of you guys are in porn. A lot of you guys are drunkards. A lot of you guys are drug addicts. A lot of you guys are porn addicts. A lot of, in the church. Galatians 5, 19 through 21. Those that practice such things and the like, there's other sins like that, will not inherit the kingdom of God. Jesus is coming. He is the commander in the of He's the commander in chief of the armies in heaven. He's coming to execute judgment to the nations. He's not coming to, for peace. He's coming with a sword. He's coming to judge every inhabitant of the earth that has rebelled against his commandments and his word and rejected him. He is coming to bring full force retribution on the inhabitants of the earth. This Jesus that you think that is a lamb, he's coming back as a lion. This Jesus that you think that God is love, but not a God of judgment, he is both. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. God sent his son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. But y'all are rejecting him and keep crucifying him again to the cross. You keep nailing Jesus to the cross with your sins, with your yoga, with your Halloween. You tongue, I don't even care if you talk to tongues. I don't even care. You guys in church, man, practicing Halloween, sorcery, witchcraft, it's an abomination to God. And you think God is cool with you. He ain't cool with nobody that rebels against him don't you understand that satan wants to kill you don't you understand that you are on your way to hell a fiery eternal flames a thirst that is never quenched completely separated from god in torment forever and ever 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 torment forever torment for think of Get it through your mind. You're going to be in torment for eternity. The Bible says the man cannot comprehend eternity. It's forever. And you're taking that chance right now under the sound of my voice. After everything I just told you, Jesus, is, it's the rapture's worth the. There's no time left. There's no time left. We're at the rapture at the end. This is the end. Our salvation is nearer than it was before. We got all the signs. He said, you, he said, you hypocrites. You hypocrite. You can't discern the sign of the times. You hypocrites. That's what I'm calling you. Hypocrites. Listen, I, we, we've all been hypocrites at some point. But you got to get right at some point. You can't be a hypocrite for 5, 10, 20 years. You can be a hypocrite for a few months, but that's it. Stop it. Stop it. Repent. Because you know what? You're not going to wish your worst enemy. I don't wish, wish my worst enemy for what's coming in the seven-year tribulation. There's going to be such judgment that you're going to wish, the part of the judgment, you're going to wish you were dead and you can't die. It's going to be so bad. Men's hearts are going to fail them for fear. 
you're gonna people are gonna be having heart attacks during the judgments coming down because they're so afraid do you understand that Jesus is knocking on the door of your heart he's knocking you gonna let him in let me in let me in Bob let me in Robert let me in Mary let me in You're not letting them in. Oh, but let me just have a little more of the world. A little more immorality. A little more sorcery. A little more rebellion. Just let me hold on to 5%. No, 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 no. You're not going. Either you're for him or against him. Either you gather with him or you scatter with him. Either you're a friend of God or you're an enemy of God. There is no gray area. He that's a friend of the world is an enemy of God. Jesus is coming right now. Like, he could come right now. He's, he said he's going to come in an hour that you don't expect him. And he's going to appoint you with a portion of a, with the hypocrites. He's going to cut you into pieces. This is the same God, that little baby Jesus in the manger on Christmas Day that we're celebrating this Saturday. This same God who you, you have. Baby Jesus is the same God that's going to throw you into hell. The Bible tells us, bind him and throw him into outer, there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth into outer darkness. Jesus even said at one point, cut him into pieces. Bind him up, cut him into pieces and throw him into outer darkness. He says there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Every time, he says, there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. He said, you're going to see Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the marriage supper of the lambs, and you yourselves thrown out. There'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. You're willing to take that chance with the love of your sin, your drunkenness, your idolatries, your false religions, your drug addictions, your immorality. You're willing to take that chance and go to hell for your sins well it's your choice God is not gonna force it and neither am I but I'm warning you if you don't repent if you don't repent you're gonna get left behind you're gonna face the worst times of your life or if you die before that I see people dying every day on my social media dead this person dead that person dead. I know you see it too this person, I'm almost done. This person dead, that person dead, that person dead, that person dead. I see you in the hospital, heart attack. Uh, 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 you know, the, you know the, the, the biological weapon of warfare that I can't say right now is killing people. Bam, bam, bam. And you see death, 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 death. God is trying to open your eyes. Judgment is come. Judgment has come. It has come to the whole world and nobody is recognizing that God himself is trying to open your eyes the tornadoes wiped out all those towns and those homes and those people don't you understand God is trying to bring people to repentance before it's too late he is trying to get our attention there's going to be more disaster. You think you saw that? You think you you think the Midwest tornadoes were bad? Wait till you see what's coming. Wait till you see what's coming with the economy, with the, the signs and wonders, with with all this bombs, wars, rumors of wars. There, you're going to see more natural disasters coming like you've never seen before. You're going to see more plagues coming because that's a sign. Of the end times hello it's not going back to normal hello Iran threatening Israel Russia all this stuff going on listen it's not a matter of if it's when we're gonna get hit with nukes it's not a matter of if it's when repent from your iniquities unrepented sin for the kingdom of God is at hand repent from cussing repent from your defilement you are defiled it's not what goes into a man that defiles him it's what comes out of his mouth that defiles him most of y'all are defiled repent for the kingdom of God is at hand he requires all men 
all men everywhere to, sorry. He requires all men everywhere to repent. That's what the Bible, this is, I'm quoting scripture, man. I got scripture in me. Bam. I can quote it because I know it. And that's what his word I've hid in my heart that, it, that I may not sin against him. Who's waking up? Anybody awake? Jesus is coming. Judgment's coming. Get ready. Get right with God and get ready. Judgment worse is about to happen. You're going to see it in 2022. You're going to see hard stuff coming. You're going to see, you're going to, don't be shocked. We're in the end, 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 end. This generation, I believe, will see the coming of the Lord. This generation is a fig tree generation. When Israel became a nation, this generation will not pass away till all these things are fulfilled. I believe it. I believe it. Jesus is coming. Are you ready? God bless. You know, I warn you because I love all you. I'm not mad at anybody. I just want you to go to heaven with me. Okay? I don't want you to be left behind. God bless.